Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now in this video, we are going to be continuing our interpenetration of solids series. We are going to be doing a drawing that involves a cylinder and a diamond based prism. So we are going to be doing this drawing right here, drawing number 3. And as you can see, this right here is a cylinder and then this right here is a diamond based prism that goes into the cylinder this is the elevation so when you're looking um, at the side this is what you will see or the front and when you're looking down this is what you will be seeing all right so as usual we're going to be starting with the plan view and in the plan view it says that this distance here is 50 so the diameter of the circle for the cylinder is 50 so let's start with that circle so select circle specify a place to start just click anywhere to start and then um this line is a bit dull i don't know if you can see that let me change that to a white line all right so start with a circle and this distance is going to be 25 so the radius is going to be 25 since the diameter is 50. so this is our circle right here so now that we have our circle before we finish drawing the plan view we actually need to start the elevation so before we get this part right here all of this we need to get this first and get this point and so and get the diamond here before we can finish here so the circle is the only thing we're going to do on the plan view panel so now we're going to go to the elevation and we're going to be starting the elevation about 20 millimeters above the circle right here above the plan view so you just move your your mouse your cursor to this point right here and you don't click anything then you just bring it up a bit and to get this point this diamond right here ensure that you turn on quadrant ensure that you turn on quadrant in uh turn on quadrant in object snap so right here and you might also want to turn on tangent all right so i bring my cursor here i just bring it up slightly and then I type 20 since I want to start the drawing 20 millimeters above the um, the plan view so let me just turn on auto for a minute since I'm going to be drawing a straight line or vertical and horizontal lines so this height is going to be 80 as it says right here the height the t total height of this is 80 so the length of this line right here is going to be 80 Alright, and now that I have that line, I'm just going to offset it by 25 to the left and 25 to the right. It will be the same thing as drawing up a line from here and drawing up a next line from, from right here. Because from the center to the end is 25 on both sides. So it's similar to that. So I'm just going to select the offset tool. It says specify offset distance. I'm going to type 25 and press enter. Then click on this line, which is the center line. Bring it here. And bring that there and then now I can just draw a line here and draw a next line here all right so now I'm going to draw so ensure you turn on midpoint in object snap midpoint is right here turn on midpoint and then it, you'll get this triangle right here which represents the send the midpoint for this line here so this would be 40 in the, exactly in the center of the cylinder so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to bring that out by 65 and this is why it says that from here to here that total distance here is 65 all right so I'm going to bring th this line out here which is the center line by 65 so I'm going to type 65 all right good so now I have that so once I have that before I do um, before I do anything else this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this line across like that. And then I'm going to bring this line down to this point here. Then I can trim TR, enter, enter, and I trim off that. <coughs> and this is why I did that. Because I want this, I want to draw a 45 degree line from here. So I'm going to click right there. I'm going to turn on polar tracking. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow beside polar tracking 
and turn on this 45 90 135 and so on because i want to draw 45 degree line so this that would when i do that it would automatically draw um, a 45 degree line right here and this green line right here it tells me that this is 45 so i'm just going to draw that down no specific distance you just want to ensure that it passes the base of the circle right there all right so when i do that i'm going to click on the center of the circle bring this across to here and then bring it up to there no specific distance just bring it past the center all right and bring it up to there so once i do that i'm going to extend this line a little extend it to meet this line right there good so now once i do that i'm going to draw this diamond right here it says that the sides of the diamond are 30. so to do that i can just start with a square i'll, I'll just click on rectangle click a place to start anywhere so let's say I start here so the sides are going to be 30 so type 30 comma 30 enter and this is it but it, it's not a square it's a diamond so in order for it to, do, to be a diamond this is what i'm going to do i'm going to rotate it by 45 degrees so let's click rotate click on this end point right here and type 45 when it asks to specify rotation angle and then just like that i get my diamond all right nice so i am going to bring this diamond down to here so i'm going to click on the diamond and click on the move tool move it from here to this point here good then i'm going to click on this and i'm going to move it again from this point and i'm going to bring it across to here all right so that's our diamond nice so now in order to not get confused we can delete a few lines so let me delete let me trim rather let me trim this i have to delete this so let me delete that and let me delete this so we have less lines working with I shouldn't have deleted it. That's 65 lines. All right, one way is from here. So let me draw this back. Let me just bring this up. All right, so this is what I'm going to do now. This line here, I'm going to click on this point right here. I'm not going to click, I'm just going to put my cursor here, bring it across to here, then click here, and bring that right across to the center line right there. I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm put, just going to put my cursor here, bring this across to that line here, then bring that across to that center line right there. So now I can trim. I can trim off everything that I don't need now. So I can trim off this and this piece right here. I can also trim off this and trim that all right so once i've done that let me trim this as well this is what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this line here bring it down to the 45 degrees then bring it across to the circle i'm going to do the same thing for this bring it down to the 45 and bring it across to the circle all right let me trim this as well All right, so once you have that now, so what I'm going to do is this. These lines right here, I am going to divide up the diamond into a number of parts, all right? So let me see how much would be a suitable amount for me to divide it into, all right? So let me draw a line and measure let me just measure go to measure distance this distance right here from this point to that point is 42 all right so what we're going to do is we're going to divide up um the diamond into a number of parts so since the distance is 42 we can divide it into seven parts or we can divide it into six parts so 
let me draw a line here. So I draw that line and I'm going to click on this line and I'm going to type divide. It says select object to divide, click on the line. It says number of segments are one six. So I press six and I press enter. So now this is divided to, into six, but you're not seeing it. So to see it, you have to type DDP and click on DDP type. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to change this from five to one because five is a bit too large. So when I click on that, I see all my division points right there. So I'm going to do this now. I am going to um, bring my cursor to this division point here, then bring it up to this point here. Then draw that this line down. Let me turn on back arm um, auto. Then draw this line down to the draw this line down to the 45 right here. Alright, let me just yeah to that point and then bring it across to the circle. Alright, so again put my cursor right at that point, bring it up here, then click there and then bring this down to the 45 degree line then bring it across to the circle again i'm going to do the same thing for here cursor here bring it up bring it up to this point here then bring it down to meet the 45 and then bring it across to there same thing here bring that up bring this down and bring it across to here all right good now if when you bring your, your cursor to this point you're not seeing the green thing like i was seeing just ensure that you have a node turned on all right all right good all right so now this is what i'm going to do after i bring those lines across wherever these lines meet the diamond i'm going to bring those lines across as well so like you have these lines going across right here from where these lines touch the diamond so we're going to be doing the same thing so i'm going to select line draw a line from this point i'm just going to bring it across to the center all of them same thing for here to the center turn on auto from here over to the center and then this one already brought over and then same thing for this from here over to the center all right now it looks like a lot of lines and it looks confusing but we're going to simplify and it's actually almost finished all right so the next thing we're going to do is this these lines here where they touch the where these lines touch the circle we're going to bring them up let me use a different color so we don't get confused so let's use blue so if I select a line and I'm going to bring this up, I'm just going to bring it up to this point. I'm going to do the same thing for this one, bring it up to that point. Alright. <coughs> Alright, so that's that. So now, if you look at the drawing, you will see that they have a little curve here and a little curve here. So that's what we're going to do now. So in order to get the curve, this is what we're going to do. We are going to select spleen or spline s-p-l-i-n-e so you're going to click on that and then the first point would be this point here so this is this would be the center line here this line right here in the middle is the center line so where the center line meets the first blue line here right here click on that point and then where this line right here the second line here meets the, se the second blue line here you're going to click on that point right there so you get that and then now the I forgot to bring up a line so I should bring up this line as well this line right here I need to bring up this line yeah all right so when I select spleen or spline where it says specify this point so where this center line meets this blue line right here so I click here that's my first point my second point is where this blue line here this blue line meets this white line right here then the third point is where this white line meets this blue line here and then my next point is this point right here 
and I press space bar so I have that so I need to get the part up at the top as well so to do that I just select spleen again and I click here where the blue where the two blue where the blue line means the center line here and the second part where that white line meets the blue line then where this white line meets the, this blue line and then the next point is here and then I click space bar all right so like that the drawing is basically finished but let me just brighten some things and do some things in construction so that you can see everything clearly all right so this line here I'm gonna put my cursor here and bring this down to this point here and then bring that down to that point so now everything that is yellow is going to be um, brightening lines and everything that is um, white or any other color is going to be construction lines all right so bring this across as well and bring across the center line also like that all right i'm going to make the circle yellow as well all right i'm also going to make this yellow i'm going to make this yellow this line in the middle make these yellow all right then I can trim out the parts of these that I don't need over here so let me trim tr enter enter trim that trim out this and let me trim this trim that here trim this trim that all right trim this here trim this that <coughs> all right and we also need to trim this line right here in the middle all right good so now we have that all right so let me brighten this let, let's make this yellow as well all right the white lines are a bit bright so i'm going to change them to a darker color so that you can see that they are construction lines all right so let me just uh, do this do it to the 45 degree line as well all right so let me change that to this color here that's a bit more pale so that you can see these clearly I'm going to change the blue lines as well all right so there you can see that you can clearly see the drawing and this white line is actually a center line so I'm going to click on that I'm going to click here on my layer I'm going to go to other I'm going to go to load and then I'm going to select scroll down to center click on center click ok then click on center here click ok it still doesn't change just click on it so by layer click on center and now it changes to a center line all right so let me bring the center line all the way down past the circle so about there to represent that that's the center and, and that is a, a, um, a center line all right and let me draw next center line a white center line as well from this part of the circle like from here to here to see that that's the center all right and then I need the next center line to, to go from here to see that's the center all right good and this now is our completed drawing all right so that is how you we do the interpenetration for a join like this in AutoCAD. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And please remember to like, comment, share, and also subscribe for more content. Thanks again for watching.